let's watch your uh, video interview with her. I'm here with Sarah, the winner of Survivor Game Changers. How does that feel? Like, you're oh. the sole survivor. It's such a relief, honestly, like, nine months of wondering, and then finally, like, it's relief. It's like, whew, we're done. <laughs> did you know, though? Like, in your mind, did you think you were the winner? Um, in my mind, I thought I played the best game, uh, but I heard a lot of people, so I didn't know. And uh, I had confidence in the fact that it was game changers, that gameplay would be rewarded, but also it's real people that you're playing with. And so did you hurt people too bad? And so it, it really, there were nights that it would keep me up and wondering. And uh, so the relief is just... Uh, insane right now <laughs> okay so I want to know when did you know you wanted to take Brad and Troy Sand, or did you just take Brad because he kept winning immunity and you had no other choice yeah it's both Brad kept winning immunity so we had no other choice we literally couldn't vote him out but at the final six uh, at, at our pasta dinner Brad Troy and myself sat down and we basically made a deal and what doesn't get shown is like we literally like swap jewelry I had Brad Culpepper's wedding ring Wait, and really? yes and and I give him this bracelet and uh, Troy Zan gives me one of his bracelets and somehow I have both their items and they only have one of mine and I'm like how does this work out but great and and so I knew at that point like he loves his wife so much that I have his wedding ring I told him I'd throw it in the ocean if he voted me out <laughs> Okay, so my thing, you saw I was really emotional at Final Tribal Council because I thought you were my best friend, as did everyone on the cast. How does that feel to make everyone feel that they were your best friend? Do you have a best friend from the cast? You are. No, I'm just saying that. <laughs> All right, I got to know, though, now you're a millionaire. What are you going to do with the money? Um, okay, honestly, uh, the first 10% is going to church. Um, and it's really boring, I know, but I, I think Wyatt and I are going to build a home, and then the rest is going to go to, like, retirement. Boo. But <laughs> boring with the money. I'm Her. going to Vegas, baby. <laughs> church, strippers. Everything. Yeah, is Church the name of a strip club? That's yeah. crazy. Church of the Poison Mind. Uh, all right, so uh, look, we'll talk about the specific specifics rather of Sarah's gameplay later, but uh, let's just get first quick reactions. Uh, what do you guys think of uh, Sarah's gameplay? Sarah was amazing, and I didn't even realize it until her tribal interview. Like, she was so good. She did so many things, and I was super proud of her, and I'm terrified of cops. <laughs> I mean, they're German. scary people. You know what? The first half of the game, I'm like, is Sarah playing it? Is she even here? Like, she was quiet. Then all of a sudden, she just played. And it was crazy. She played her butt off and definitely deserving of the win. But I thought other people were deserving, too. Oh, all right. We'll get into that a little bit later. Josh, what would you think of Sarah's gameplay? Yeah, she won me over by the end. I wasn't always on board, but by the end, she won me over. Very strong game post-merge. Um, yeah. Very strong game. And we'll talk a little bit more, maybe, the difference between her and Brad, and mm -hmm. who had a very social, strategic, strong pre-merge game, uh, maybe not so much uh, later on.